Yo, what's going on guys? Before the video starts, I just want to apologize for the bad sound quality that I have in the background of gameplay. Um, I re-recorded this video about two times trying to fix it, but I honestly couldn't figure out how to do it. But I hope you guys enjoy the video nonetheless. Yo, what's going on guys? Zerk Stain here. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a sort of mini review of the PlayStation Now service for PC. So if you guys don't know what this service is, essentially you pay around 20 bucks a month to play PS3 games on your PC using the internet. So the way this service works is Sony renders the game um, on their server and then basically sends it to you through the internet. And basically you're not doing any GPU rendering on your system locally, it's all done over the internet. So with that being said, as you guys probably could imagine, you do need a decent internet speed. Sony recommends um, 12 megabits or better with a minimum requirement of 5 megabits per second. But with 5 megabits per second, um, do expect some frame drops and some stuttering or lower quality. So this is the uh, home menu for PlayStation Now. So essentially, I can just scroll through their list of games, and any game I want to start, I can just click Start, and that's how it works. It's like Netflix, basically, you know? You can add it to your list, or you can just play the movie or play the game right away. So, for example, let's hop into Red Dead Redemption. So before I click Start, um, one of the main downsides I think that this service has is the super long load times. So, for me, the load times wouldn't really be that much of a problem, except that I have way above the recommended requirements of 12 megabits a second. I have close to 250 megabits internet, and the load times are still sometimes up to like 2-3 to three minutes. And there's the load time that you get from starting the game, and then when you actually start loading into the world, that gets even longer. So, to demonstrate my frustrations, I'll click start and I'll speed it up around four times and show you guys just how long the loading process is. Alright, so I'm basically going to speed this up around four to five times to show you just how long it takes to get from clicking start to actually getting into the gameplay. Alright, so in real time that was around 2 minutes and 10 seconds of loading into the game. Well, alive. And I mean, so honestly, it's playable, so but I think feel? that I don't the know longer the you use this it. service, and I especially do. if you Stupid pay for it, 20 bucks a month here. really is what a lot. Doing? That's more than like Netflix, Hulu, and all the other streaming services for like movies. Well, you'll be okay. And Sony doesn't really that, have any direct fine. competitors the in the PS3 Good. streaming market. But other streaming services like Liquid Sky TV oh, sorry, do man. offer cheaper uh, variants. But Did you want honestly, it's kind of like I mean, comparing was that apples and like Fort Mercer and different colored apples. Because yes, PlayStation or Sony, or, uh, Mr. like are the John only Marston. company that Bonnie can provide streaming Miss to these Bonnie games. Well, you may be but right, whatever. So once we get into the actual gameplay, it is pretty, pretty decent. Um, you do render the game exactly how a PlayStation 3 would. So this is running at 1280 by 764 resolution, so just slightly over um, 720p. And the FPS is pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if Red Dead Redemption runs natively at 60 FPS on the PlayStation 3, but my... Um, my FPS counter is showing a constant 60 FPS and it does feel like 60 FPS but honestly I can't really imagine this game running natively at 60 FPS on um, on the PS on the PS3 so once you get into the actual game 
it's pretty cool. Now, you can play a lot of PlayStation game games. You can't play all of them, but games like Uncharted 3, Last of Us, Red Dead Redemption, the kind of games that you wouldn't be able to play on PC no matter what, um, those games are all available, and this is honestly why a lot of people are probably interested in the service. It's not so much that like, oh, I have a PlayStation 4 and I want to play my PlayStation games on my PC. It's more like, I don't really have access to these games and I want to try them out on my PC, even if it's not the best quality. So, one other thing that I want to mention is that in order to play these games at all, you do have to use a controller. You can't really get around not using a controller. You can, like, trick your PC into thinking that your keyboard and mouse is a controller, but honestly, it really doesn't work well. But, like, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller right now, so it's good that Sony implemented other controllers um, than, the P than the DualShocks 3 and 4. Because honestly, it'd be really easy for Sony to basically say, no, you have to buy our controllers in order to use our product. So props to them on that. And, yeah, so it's pretty good. So I'll leave you guys with a couple minutes of gameplay of Red Dead Redemption, and then I want to show you guys just how fast you can switch between games, or how not fast you can switch between games. So let's say I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, I quickly well, no want to, to switch over the to The Last of Us. What you can do is, if you're playing the game, um, even w w when you're using a controller, you hit the escape button on your keyboard, and it basically popped up with this menu. As you can see, the game is still running in the background, so it's not like a pause button. So let's say I want to return to the game, I pressed it by accident. Okay, you can do that. Alright, so let's say I get bored of playing this game, hit close game, and you will be returned to the home menu. And now that we're back here, let's go and let's play The Last of Us. I have never played this game before, and I'm pretty hyped to try it on my PC. So let's click start. So once again, the load times are pretty atrocious, so I'll speed it up so you guys don't get too bored. Alright, so about a minute and ten seconds to get into the title menu. Let's see how long it takes to get into some actual gameplay. Hey, sir. All right, you so up, into some gameplay okay. now. And this game's Can running at radio? 720p now, yeah, sure not thing. the weird resolution Red Dead Redemption Thanks. was running. And I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, but this game no feels radio. a bit less than 60 yeah, we're doing great. Minute ago, I mean, it feels like shut it's up. 30, even he though my frame per counter is saying that it's he 60, said, uh, so I don't know, maybe it's just so Always put up roadblocks on the highway. Maybe. I'm no just getting going into Travis behind. County. We need to get the hell out. But anyways, Take so, while... We're in this gameplay all. I want to give you guys my they final say thoughts of the good and the bad of the So the good thing about it right. is obviously you can play the PlayStation 3 games that you would not be able to play on your PC. Christ, Another good thing happened. is that the seven no day clue. free trial yeah. is pretty much all inclusive. But we ain't the only town. You can do everything just that you normally, you normally would East if you were to pay for it. So, the downsides, unfortunately, there are super long load times, and I don't know if it's fixed by having less people on the service, but for whatever reason, it is pretty long. Another bad thing is the bad resolution. Of course not. It's not super bad, it's just mediocre, especially if you run the game on full city. Especially if you run the game on full screen, you can definitely tell that it's a lower resolution, but overall, I mean, me mean. personally, I what wouldn't think you're doing. Keep driving. At all. I got a kid, Joe. So but do we. But we have room. I'm definitely hey, going to enjoy the trial of it. So, 
I highly recommend you guys check out the trial too. You do need a credit card to sign up for it, but other than that, it's really simple. You just download a program, open it up, create a PlayStation account or sign in if you already have one, and then you're basically set to go. So, once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll leave the game for the same damn idea. But uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, ask me about this backtrack below. What the fuck, man? Let's go! Oh, 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 Talk to you guys in the comments. Oh, 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 so, thank you. Guys Tommy! Really Holy oh, shit! Oh, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? People, move! What are they running from? Get us out of here. I'll try it. Oh, no. We can't stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them, Joe! They're back up there! They're behind me, too! There! They're there! Hold on! Go! 